What's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber. Guess what? We're back at it again with another amazing, epic, history-making, powerful, um, toy review starring Spawn with Snap-on head hand arsenal, climbing action, grappling hook. <laughs> Um, and right here, guys, this is from Attack Spawn. This is a figure that I've been wanting to get out the box for a while. So I figured today would be the day to do so. And as you can see right there on the box, $12.99 from KB Toy Stores. <laughs> now, this is not a uh, uh, newer figure. It is an older figure. It's actually from 1997 or 98 when I think this first came out. Uh, yeah, 97. Yeah, okay. So over 20 years old, this figure has been in this package. Well, guess what? Today is his lucky day. He's going to be set free. He's going to be out of this package, and he's going to be good to go. Now, of course, this is from the Spawn movie back in the day, 1997. Born in darkness, sworn to justice. And here are some of the figures from this movie wave which I don't really recommend any of these spawn figures <laughs> um you know I think the attack spawn is probably the best one from this series I do have the Melboja uh which is I have the brown version of Melboja it it, it they were all right. You know, the uh, Violator, I don't think I've ever had this Violator. If I did come across them for a cheap price, I'd pick them up. But I think the Attack Spawn is probably the best one from this wave. I've had the Clown, meh, Jessica Priest, eh. This, uh, this Spawn right here looks pretty cool. I did have the unmasked version of that Spawn. Um, and then there's L. Simmons and Burnt Spawn, which, um... Listen, if you like the movie, then maybe you'll like this uh, this series. Uh, I did like the movie, but I just didn't like the figures from this movie. But uh, this one seems to look like the promise, promising, most promising one. Annie, what are you doing over there? Cut it out! Okay, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead, slice this open. Punisher, oh, look at that, some Marvo, no, cover it up. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and pop this open. It's never been opened before until today. Okay, hopefully, being that this is an older figure, it doesn't break on me. Um, sorry about that. It comes with a pamphlet here of all the other spawn figures you can get. We'll take a quick look at it, a quick glimpse at it. Bless myself. Yeah, uh, the Total Chaos series. Uh, I reviewed a l uh, half of these figures. Um, I reviewed a few of the Curse of Spawn figures. Um, you know, it's kind of all over the map. I've kind of reviewed figures from all these waves, except for the Monster series and the Kiss series as well. <laughs> so here is some of. Um, the stuff, mer Spawn merchandise that you can get. <laughs> Look at that. Spawn PlayStation video game. Wow, dude. I remember I had the first PlayStation video game. Then there's a Spawn movie. Okay, so let's take this Spawn out the box. So here we go. Just has a few twisty ties on this spawn figure. Some at the bottom, a few at the bottom, should I say. I'm guessing these are for his feet, right? Man. I 
Okay. All right. Okay, so let's take out this spawn. Try to remove him from his base. Untwist these ties from him. And let's take a look at spawn, and then it looks like his wings connect to him, so his wings are not uh, automatically attached to him. So with any spawn figure, you have to be careful, being that he's been in the package for a very long time. When you decide to move him, be careful with his legs and his joints, because guess what? If you've gone, if you've become accustomed to watching my channel, you know how easily things break. So typical '90s figure, his joints move up and down, elbow up and down. His head is on um, can rotate. So typical '90s articulation uh, and typical '90s design. Arms bend at the ar uh, elbows, bend at the knees, and then right here he's got a swivel at the waist. Open hand and then closed hand. That's what they did back in the 90s. He's got a very, very nice uh, shine to him. A very nice shimmer to him. And, uh, yeah, very, very nice design, man. They did a very, very uh, great job with this figure. I like the dirtiness of the spawn figure. I don't know if that's... <laughs> A part of the design, or if that's just blemish, a blemish on his mask. But guess what? I'll take it. Okay, so we'll stand up spawn here. We'll take. Let's see that I untwist this. We'll take. Let me move this out the way. Uh, so I don't. Re I don't remember <laughs> this grappling hook in the movie. <laughs> Okay, there is his wings. So let's move this out the way for now. And we'll take a look at his wings, which look very, very delicate. So be careful with that. They're, they are on hinges. So I apologize for all the noise outside. It just seems like every time I do a action figure review, there's tons of noise outside. So let's pop this on there and it just kind of pegs into his back and there you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let me put Spawn down over here. Oh yeah, and if you guys didn't see my last review, he's been standing there for a minute now, of Agent Venom, Marvel Select, check that review out. But this is about Spawn. Check that, re check that review out after you check this review out. So. Very, very nice. I love the wings. I love the detail in the wings. How it's battered. I love the veins and the wings. Very, very, very nice design. So here is... I'm guessing this pegs into here. It has to peg in here. It just looks like it just kind of sits there, but I'm gonna try to peg it in. It can extend, see, right here. It's kind of like, this kind of has like a pull to it, like a measuring tape, it goes back and forth. But I'm gonna see if I can peg this in here. Yeah, yeah, you can peg it in, look at that. It looks kind of awkward. The wings are bendable, but I wouldn't try to bend them all the way back, because like I said, this is an older figure, and if I tried to do that, guess what? they would probably snap off. So as you guys are taking a closer look at uh, Spawn right here, Attack Spawn, I'm gonna break out the rest of his accessories. Okay. So, which he comes with, I don't know where these go to, he comes with one of these. And then he got 
<laughs> one of these. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know what this is, the hell this is. And then... This looks familiar. This looks like when he fell off the building and he had these claws right here. So maybe his hands do pop out. I'm guessing, right? Then there's another pair right there. And then last but not least. Man, these things, man. These twisty ties are like flying everywhere, man. As I'm ripping as I'm ripping this out. That he has this thing, which I don't know what the hell this thing is. And too bad this don't come with directions, because it doesn't come with any directions. Maybe to his wrist? Oh yeah, it could be possibly it goes on to his wrist, huh? So, let's see. That's my guess, anyways. So, I guess it would just kind of peg into his wrist, or maybe the other one, because it has spikes over here, so... Maybe it pegs into the clear. Yeah, there we go. Huh, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. I think it's a little bit too much. <laughs> and all of these, I'm guessing, are like hands. Uh, do I even want to attempt to try to rip off his hands, man? Because his hands look very, very delicate. Let's see. Yeah, his pants do come off. Okay, yeah, they come off pretty easily. Thank goodness. And then you can put in his hand. Let me take off his cape because I feel like I'm, his, not his cape, but his wings. I feel like his wings are going to pop off, man. Yeah, and his, it pegs in there very easily. So if you want, and then this pops off. And then you can put this hand in there if you want to. Why one hand is bigger than the other, it's you're beyond me. I have no idea. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Look at that. Uh, I don't know if I like him like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and if you want to, I'll take this out like so. And you could probably put this in his hand as another weapon. That's pretty cool, huh? Something unique, something different, you know, something you haven't seen before. And then here's this other weapon, I'm, which I'm not going to put in there because it looks kind of stupid. It kind of looks like a, a stubby hand. So I'll probably put his hand, regular hand, back on there, and then I'll probably put this back on there. So if you want, you can pop this hand on there which actually looks better I actually like it like that now when you put the wings on I just think it's just a little bit too much with the wings but he looks really really cool like this man he's got some a lot of weaponry dude that is really really awesome yeah so when you put the wings on it's just a little bit too much Yeah, so let's take this off because there's just too much going on. He actually looks good like that. I actually like him like that. I don't know if I don't know if I like him like that with the wings on because I feel like this might be a little bit too much. So let's change that out and put his uh, smaller fist in there. Let's fist him. <laughs> uh, yeah, that actually looks better. Because with all this weaponry on him, when he has the wings on, it just looks like it's a little bit too much. But when you take the wings off, these weapons on here, they look really, really cool on him. But this is an attack spawn, so he's given wings. So if I'm given wings, I'm going to display him with wings, you know what I mean? Even though he has cool weaponry, it's just a little bit too much for him, you know what I mean? Okay, let's... You guys have been looking at him, so let's go in further for detail. Let me give you a little better detail at his legs and his feet. There's his wings. There's the back of his wings. 
Very nicely detailed, man. I mean, not too shabby for a 97 uh, figure. I do like them a lot. And I just think this grappling hook right here is just a little bit too much. But if you wanted to, I mean, actually, you know what? That's kind of giving me an idea, guys, because this hook right here, you can take it out and then you can hang them. And you can display spawn like hanging. Like here, I can hang this on my board, like so, and I can display them like flying. So actually, that's not too bad of an idea. I actually might do that, being that I've, I've kind of run out of room. So I have the option to actually hang spawn, which is actually not too bad, guys. <laughs> See how it's hanging from the top of my board right here, my backboard. So actually, yeah, I do like that. Um, that gives me an option to display spawn um, differently, you know what I mean? So yeah, I like that. You know, but if you're going to display him standing up, you're going to have this thing lingering over his back and it looks kind of stupid. Or you can just hang it over his back if you're going to stand him up and display him. Okay, so let's do a measurement and I'll give you my rating of this attack spawn. So... Um, he stands just a little bit over six inches. His wingspan is about nine inches. So, not too shabby, guys. Not too shabby. Here is uh, him next to Agent Venom. Of course, Agent Venom is way bigger because he is a Marvel Select. And this is an older 90s figure, so he's obviously going to be bigger. Very, very nice spawn. Okay, guys, on a scale from 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, you know what? Out of all the spawn figures I've had, I have in my collection, he's pretty awesome, man. I have to admit, he's really, really, really nice. I love the detail on him. Um, you know, for a 90s figure, I mean, he still looks good to this day. So, on a scale from 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, you know what, guys? I'm actually going to be really, really generous. And I'm going to give him a 10. Yeah, I'm going to give him a 10 because he's that awesome. Um, it's not a solid 10. It's kind of a weak 10. It's kind of hindering on a 9. But I really can't find anything wrong with this figure. I mean, he is 90s vintageness, you know, 90s goodness. Uh, this is how the figures used to look back in the day. Of course, you know, this, this guy right here is the exception because it's McFarlane. It's from a movie. As well so they did a great job with that compared to all the other figures in the series they he he uh, they all pale in comparison next to him so overall great design the wings are beautifully done um, I love the veins in them it kind of has like a tarantula kind of vibe to it kind of like a bat kind of vibe to it as well and I really like really like the spawn it's very very unique you don't see spawns like this uh, every day and also, like I said, he's from the 90s, so this was before Spawn, uh, Todd McFarlane decided to go crazy and create some awesome Spawns, you know, um, in, you know, 1999, that, a couple years later when he really was at his peak, 99 in the 2000s, you know, 2000s is when the design of Spawn figures went up, you know, tremendously. So to see, this is kind of the beginning of that, you know what I mean, of... Uh, spawn design going up to another level you know so yeah i definitely recommend this spawn figure man he is freaking awesome dude he is really really awesome and he's definitely a piece of nostalgic nostalgia um from the 90s man i think he's really 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 awesome really really i really really dig him a lot so guys we're gonna go ahead and leave it at that um and also i love the movie as well so yeah so, even though, and also, this because it was based on a movie, you don't see him wearing this. It's supposed to be the attack scene where he falls from the glass ceiling. So, that's what this is based on. And the cape doesn't look anything like that. The wings are completely different. Which I think makes this character a little bit better. Because if you just gave him his regular cape, it would look like any other spawn figure. Because you can't kind of gave him, like, bat wings... He looks really, really awesome, and he's really, really unique. So for that, that's one of the reasons why I give him a 10. 
So tell me what you guys think of this figure. Do you guys like him? I really like him a lot. And also this, the displaying option too, you know, gives it a 10. You know, if it gives me a really, really cool option to display him kind of flying in the air, which is awesome. So yeah, that's also one of the reasons why I'm giving them a 10. And also all these interchangeable goodness on here too. I can use these for something. I can attach them to something, you know what I mean? So those are not going to go to waste. But there you go. There's me yapping away. Tell me what you guys think of this figure. Do you guys like him? Um, I recommend him. I definitely think you should pick him up. He's really, really awesome. So there you guys have it. If you like this review, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to receive more cool, awesome reviews like this. And there you guys have it. There was my little review of Attack Spawn. Just want to thank you guys for watching and leave your thoughts in the comment section, guys. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.